morning. This is Seiko. It is Friday and we're going to do the upper body sculpting, but probably I'll do some lower body as well. All right. So either your choice, it's a body weight only or the five pounds uh, set of the dumbbells. Okay, so I wanted to work on the chest a little bit more today. All right. So shoulders up, pinch the cheeks. Good. And let go again, pinch, let go. One more, pinch. Before let go, bring towards back and pull down, good. Again, push up, pull back and down. So one smooth movement. Now it's a circling your shoulders, good. You feel the movement on the upper back, your shoulder blades, good. Keep your midsection nice and tight. Very good. And forward. Good. Up and forward and down. Good. And bring your arms up inside and stretch your back and down. And back. Keep breathing. Good. Four more. Three. Two, last one, good, and start pinching. Right. Okay, from the elbow, bent up, grab, pinch, and back up. Pinch, bent up, pinch, bent up. All the way to, close to the armpits, and now massage, massage well. Good, those areas you usually don't, massage or push or anything, right? So those are a good area to drain. So many draining points in the body. So, but I wanna get rid of the excess water from the body right here. One, two, three, four, back, two, three. Keep grabbing this fat right there and forward. If you don't have fat, maybe it does just muscle, but I still have muscle, um, mus fat over the muscle right here. Good. All over. Pinch, bent, up. Pinch, bent, up. Pinch, bent, up. Pinch, bent, up. You don't have to go a line here. You can go outside too. Back to the elbow. Pinch and up. Pinch and up. Good. All the way. And wiggle, wiggle, massage with your thumb. Good. You know, not just the one point. You know, those areas. Good. And one. Elbows up. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four, forward, one, two, three, four, good. And midsection, standing. You can stay standing there the whole time. I'm just going closer. Grab the stomach right there and stand up, pull out and shake. Make the separations, right? Good. Bend back a little bit, still holding it to pull out and straight back and ironing down with your thumbs around the waistline, grab it oh, deep and stand. Hi, good morning, Donna. Welcome, yay. We just started. Good, good to have you back. Good, we're pinching, bend back. And I have a five pound dumbbells on the side or you can just use your body weight, your choice. And stand, shake, 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 pull out and shake, and telling them go away, drain, disappear. Good, and then back, still holding it, pull out, shake, Ooh, feel it, feel it. Good, straight up and ironing down with your fist, Massage with pressure, this area, the groin's area, 
that's where another drainage, right? And between the upper and lower bodies. Good. All right, are you ready for squat? All right, shoulder back, tuck in your navel. Oh, by the way, we're gonna stretch this section, okay? Starting from here, center of the rib cage, between the belly button, your navel, slightly stretch. Good, and tuck in, and hold. Okay, release again. Stretch, stretch, pull in your navel. And this is what I want you to keep. Feel it, right? It's more tighter. All right, keep that position as much as possible and squat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. At the top, squeeze your glute and stretch again a little bit, right? Good. Just don't block, uh, lock your knees and don't cave in your knees. Check your positions, check your forms. That's all so important. If you're not doing correctly, you may not see the results. Even worse, you may get injured yourself, right? Without knowing it. Good. Inhale, exhale. So the, on your foot, on your feet, 70% weights on your heels, 30% on the toes. Good. Make sure your glutes are back, way back. Your knees are not moving forward too much. Good. How many more? Four, three, two. I already feel it. Last one. Good. And go quick and slowly down. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. And one, two, three, hold and pulse. One, two, three, four, four more. Three, two, one. Now slowly go up. One, two, three, four. Stretch right there, good. Keep it up and go quickly down. One, two, three, four. No lock there, and down. One, two, three, four, and down. One, two, three, squeeze and stretch, and down. Two more, one, two, three, four, and down. Last one, one, two, three, squeeze and stretch, and hold it, good, and heels up, and down, and bring your arms up, and palms out, and down, inhale, oh, exhale, and down. So every time you exhale, stretch and tuck in, up and down. So make sure you don't bring your shoulders like this, pull down your shoulder blades in the back, and bring your arms up. Always relax your joints. Palms out at the top. Eight, seven. When you lift your heels, you mean it. Squeeze your glute, your quads, your calves, everything tight. And keep your core nice and tight. So keep your balance. Two. Last the one, good, and bring your heels together, good, and extend your arms and pull down your shoulder blades, good, and squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glute, squeeze out all the juice from your peach, good, and pull down your shoulder blades, tuck in and stretch this area, and bend your knees, make the diamond, and as low as you can go and bring back in and squeeze. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So today's upper body class, but since two of you has, hasn't done my class for a while, so I'm just doing pretty much whole body. Inhale, exhale. Okay, down, 
Now, and bring your arms up and heels up together. Don't be apart. Good, and squeeze. You don't have to go too high because it, it's really tough to go any higher than this. Inhale, exhale, same thing, palms out. Pull down your shoulder blades, tuck in your navel with stretch. Four more, three, squeeze, two, last one, good, Woo! and drop. So grab, either you can use your weight, or I don't, I'm not gonna use weight for this, but if you wanted to more, you're gonna do the pull downs, right? First, before you even pull down, even at the gym with the machine, don't start with this. Pull down your shoulder blades first, good. And have an imaginary uh, bar or uh, loop and bring down your elbows. Down here, tuck in your navel, down. So over here, your triceps area, squeezing into the, your torso. Inhale, pull down your shoulder blades and down. Shoulder blades down and pull. Just imagine you have, if you don't have the five pounds weight, put your brain into like, okay, I'm pulling down 40 pounds weight. Good. And when you're coming down, make sure you stretch a little bit and tuck in your knee. Good. Keep squeezing your glutes. Good. You're working on the back, by the way. <laughs> and down. Good. And back down here. So now we're going to do a little bit up. You, you can stay stand, right? And right here. And just imagine a bar coming behind your neck and up. If you are using a weight, you feel really painful or too tired, drop your weight and use your brain weight. So when you do this uh, on the machine, cable machines or whatever, be careful because this if you do this too heavy with a real weight, you're gonna hurt your neck or shoulders or back. I'm just using this imaginary weight with imaginary bar coming right here. Good. And hold it. Your bar is right there behind your neck and good. And pulse. When you do the pulse, keep pulling down your shoulder blades, your muscle holding it down. And you just use this arm for against this pull down motion, right? Good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Relax your hands. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold. Now let the bar go. I'm just down here so you can see me. Good. And bring your elbows forward and back and chest is up. Now we're working on the chest. Remember this machine, this, right? That machine's very popular, but 80% uh, of the people using it, wrong. So first you have to chest up, arch, keep it arch, relax your neck. Don't go neck right here. So it's about, Elbows are lower than your shoulders. And just imagine you have 20 pounds each side and bring all the way around. Don't do this. Go out. Inhale, exhale. And bring your elbows further away from the chest, but don't round your back. So it's like a fly with a machine. Keep the chest up tight as possible. Your elbows away from the shoulders and stay that distance. All right, your body is not changing, right? But you're working on right here. Squeeze into the center. Four more. 
and three, two, last one, and hold, hold. I can't go really close because I don't want to lose my arch. Right here is the limit, good. And up and down, elbows. How's your tummy? Nice and tight. Woo. Eight, seven, six, five. You feel now? Triceps, right? Woo. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Beautiful. Let's use the weights. And as soon as you feel pain, drop, right? That's the same rule. So stay stand, good. And we're gonna work on the biceps. Pull down your shoulder blades and lift. And down, exhale. At the top, pull down your shoulder blades and focus on this gun, right? And don't forget your tummy. Working together, don't round your back. Keep that straight, but not this. Tuck in, good. And one, two, three, four, and hold and peeling down. So keep your biceps nice and tight in four, three, two, one, back up, one, Two, how's your tummy? And up, four, three, two. Those reverse movements really works well to build your muscle as long as you do it right. And up, four, three, two, one. And up, four, three, two, one. Halfway and down, halfway and down, halfway, down, halfway. When you go down straight, you feel the stretch, right? Then pop up, squeeze. In order to build a good muscle, you're gonna stretch and flex. Both needed, good. Four more, and three, halfway only, two. Last one from there, one. Two, squeeze, three, four, four more, three, two, last one, slowly back to the center in the middle and open and back, front, open. Now you're working on the shoulders as well. Good, keep popping, tight, biceps, eight, Seven, stretch your tummy and tap in, squeeze your glute. Three, two, last one, and hammer and up. Two, three. You can do without weight. Just imagine you have 10 pounds each, right? Because imaginary weight, you can do whatever. You can do 50 pounds, right? Just don't rock the body. <laughs> Good. And four more. Three, two, last one. Slowly back all the way and stretch. Good. And keep that hammer style and lift forward. Don't back, lean back, keep that uh, body nice and straight. Squeeze, stretch, tuck in, up. Now you're working on the front side deltoids. Okay, so probably, you know, you, we used to do this too, but uh, I learned. And it's easier for the shoulders to do the hammer style instead of uh, palms down for your calf, not calf, uh, shoulder puffs, right? We don't wanna injure our shoulders. That's the last thing you want. We're gonna look good, 
with a nice cap, round, wider shoulders, right? But if it's injured, you ruin everything. So, and of course you don't need a weight if you can use your brain. Every time you lift up, don't swing, control and hold with your abs. Good. And four more. Three. And two. Last one. Oh, ow. Lean. So now lean forward, hinging from the hips. Squeeze your hips, nice. And don't stick out your navel, tuck in, and nice carb here. And we're gonna work on side, right? And straight up and down, up. I said the straight up, but it, it's not this, right? Slightly bent your elbows, very slightly. Tuck in your navel, I'm telling myself. And now, coming back, you feel that big ball in front of your chest and chest is up, right? So squeeze the beach ball in front of your chest. Pull down your shoulder blades, of course. All right, and up. And you gotta work on the shoulders. Don't just follow the movement, but focus on the shoulders. So at the top, squeeze your shoulders. Makes a huge difference. Right? If you're not thinking anything, just doing these motions, you may not see the results. Okay, right here. Good. Four more. Coming back with a tension right here. Two more. Chest squeezed. Good. Last one. Hold. Pull down your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one, slowly down, slowly down. Keep squeezing your the, the your chest in beach ball or balance ball, whatever you can call. And back here. Whew. Very good. Let's work on the triceps. Yes, you're gonna do the kickback. All right. So naturally. Drop here, shoulders level, lift your elbow. You're gonna see a little triangle and keep that elbow right there and extend. You can do it without the weight, definitely. So you feel the squeeze, flex and back, coming back, don't lower your elbow. Rather lift them slightly up, flex. One sixteenth inch and back. And down. Exhale. And back. And down. Exhale. Squeeze. And up. Lift your elbow as coming back. And back. Tuck in your navel. Up and down. Four more. Uh, and three. Uh, two. Last one. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down. The other side. Switch. Lift your heel. Then forward. Tuck in. Nice curl. Lift and out. Make sure you extend fully. Only time I ask you to lock your elbow. Without doing that, hard to feel that flex. And make sure you don't bring your elbows down as you come coming back, right? If you do it correctly, you don't have to do that many. And slightly, you may not be able to see how much my elbow's up, but, and down. 
Four more. Three. Focus there. In your head. Shoot. Squeeze. And down. Last one. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Ow. Ouch. Okay. Let's go down. Work on the tummies and chest. Okay. All right. Hug your knees. Stretch your lower back. Good. All right. Okay. Ah. Good. And we will work on the obliques first. No weights. And oh, before we do that, drawing a couple times, right? To remind you. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck in, tuck in. Nice and tight. It's like a steel. Good. And squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. And lock it. Good. And lift your head and support with one hand. There is a way to do, you know, both arms straight, but I rather cover, help my head and neck. So press down and one side only, reaching to your heel, outside of your heel. Two, three, the key is you don't twist your body. Lift your shoulders and keep the parallel position to the floor and side. So you're doing is crunches on the floor. Side crunch. Up. Eight. Seven. Tuck in. Press in. Good. Four. Three. Two. One, good, rest and stretch and bring your same arm to the side and stretch your obliques. Beautiful. The other side, switch your hand, lift your neck, shoulders and reach outside of the heel. So my foot is not too far, not too close, just a naturally step, you know, drop it on the floor. If you're on a challenge, go a little farther, reach. Make sure you, oh, I was doing it, a little bit tilted the reaching side. So try not to do that. Oh, too much, a little bit okay. Out and four, three, two. Last on your reach and hold, 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 and down. Relax, stretch there, and reach inside the stretch right here from the armpits to the hips. Good. Oh, good. And bring your knees up, put your hands up, down, and lift your hips. No more momentum, right? Lift your hips so your tailbone's up, and lift a little bit more. You can use your hands to lift your booties, because we got that good muscle on over here with some fat, right? So it's got the good weight and the gravity. So if you are comfortable, do it straight legs or knees bent, your choice. Tuck in your navel first, lock it and lift. And two, use your lower tummy muscle right there, not just the hands, hands are just helping. But a focus on right there, you gotta feel it. How to feel the muscle? Squeeze it. Squeeze. If you can't feel it, less motions, but squeeze. Squeeze. If you feel already, you know, that squeeze without, you know, focusing too much and 
Lift a little more. Four more. Three. Two. Last one and hold. Hold it, hold it. Good. And keep holding it. And oh, move your legs. Don't touch your tailbones. Keep it up. Tuck in your navel. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. I'm sweating. How about you? Sip water anytime, okay? All right, let's do the chest to press. We already worked on the side way, so we're gonna work on the whole pecs. Good, first, of course, right here, and lift your shoulder blades. I did yesterday with Yuka, with the elbows, you know, with no weights, and press the elbows and lift the all upper shoulders, you know, upper back and down. Good, one more. Lift everything, nothing touching on the whole entire back. And relax a little bit and touching the behind, like uh, behind of the shoulder right here. But you're, you keep the arch, unless you have any pains on the lower back and bring your arms up and don't lose your arch. Inhale, exhale, press up. When you press, squeeze your chest muscle. Don't focus on your arms, right? Just the, this movement. Every time you bring your arms up with weights or no weights, whatever, press up towards the uh, ceiling and your pecs up. By the way, your shoulder blades pull down towards the hips all the time. Right, keep the good chest arch. Your head is on the floor. Sometimes you see people like this. It's not good. Keep your heads and neck relaxed. Just keep the good arch on the chest and squeeze the chest. Squeeze the chest. Flexing your pecs. That's a great muscle to train because then your boobs, your chest won't get sucked, soggy as you aged, right? Everybody think it's normal? No, it doesn't have to be, right? We can fight against that. Luckily, my chest is small enough where you can't really soggy, but it could be really look, you know, petite and sad. So, but once you fill up with your pecs, you get rejuvenate your chest. Look good and hold right here and twist, twist. You can, you can work on your shoulders as well with this and also focus on right here, chest, right? One, two, three. Four. You don't do this, but just like tight. How do you call those? Tight bolt. And try to do this last squeeze with the uh, uh, screwdriver. Eight, seven, six. Chest is the one working on, well, right? Just remember eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And slowly down. <sighs> How's everyone? My hands hurt, <laughs> but I couldn't help. Okay, so hug your knees. Do you feel good stretch on the lower back? You do? You feel it? Good. Yes, it's time to relax. <sighs> Take your booties. Good. Put your soles together. Grab the toes, pull in. So your inner thighs, groin area, even your hips, 
all stretched nicely. Grab the toes, keep your knees open, bring your toes towards the shins. Happy baby, if you bring a little bit here, your knees pushing in towards the armpits, right? Good. Bring your left leg down, right leg up. Bring your toe, flex, toe, flex, circle. And reverse. Oh, a little crack. Good. To keep the flex, bend your knee and straight. You feel the stretch behind your knee. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale and hold. And bring your straight leg towards the chest slowly. Just a little bit is okay as long as you feel all the stretch. Make sure behind your knee. You don't want to have a bend of the knees all the time, right? Once in a while, you've got to stretch. Good. And right here, opposite hand. Oh, no, no, no. Massage on the drainage, on the corner. <laughs> Good. And reverse circle, circular motion. Good. And stretch the skin, top of the foot, the skin, all the way to towards the bottom of the foot. And when you reach to the bottom of the toes, dig the drenches, trenches. Good, between the bones. And open your toes between each one and check everything is nice and clean. Also make sure you get to stretch there. Good, and massage, oh, push towards there, towards the bottom, good, and pull up. Stretch, stretch, good, and massage, good. Yeah, check your toes when you're standing. If your toes are up, lifted up, that means all the weight goes to the heels and ended up your postures all, you know, messed up, ended up you're gonna have O-shaped legs. When I saw that, uh, Video, I it reminded me of uh, my aunt. So she's like that. So one, two, and massage your hemi and push with the four fingers each side. And one, two, beautiful. Extend your leg, cross the leg with opposite hands. Keep your shoulders down, tap, tap, tap. Ooh, I'm feeling sore right here. Oh, good. Switch hand, open your leg, inner thigh, nicely stretched. When we did the diamond, you know, uh, uh, squat uh, with the heels up, heels touch, that really help, helps the inner thigh. Bend your knee, cross. Keep your shoulders down. Push the knee towards the floor if you have more energy or, or if you can <laughs> don't need the energy for this if you feel comfortable bring the heel to the buns on the bottom right there inhale exhale back to the center figure four put your foot on the thigh through the hole bring your leg in Whew. you feel good stretch on the right side bend it aside Good. Four, three, two, one. Switch side. Left leg up. Pointing toe, flex, toe, flex, circle. And reverse. Oh, click, click. Bend your knee and up. Bend your knee and up. Two more. Last one. Straight leg, flex, and bring the leg towards the chest. A little bit more, a little bit more. Sometimes you feel good, stretch your foot. All right. And release. Put your thumbs on the top of each other, on the corner right there, and between those two bones. Pressure with the circular motion. Open up the drainage. So whatever we worked out, gone. So you're not going to get swelling too much, hopefully. All right, so stretching the skin right now, all the way to the bottom of the toes and dig the trench between the bones. 
Good. And between the toes, open to the side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Between, make sure it's all clean and nice stretch. Grab all the toes, push down. Good. And go up. Feel good stretch all the way. Good. And massage the bottom of the foot. Right? Health on the feet is really important too. And cap and pinching the accuracy. Right? When you pinch, when you push, push, then release, the blood comes in, right? Good. So your calf. Nice, behind the knees, wiggle, wiggle, nice, loosen up, put the two fingers towards the kneecap, and one, two, massage your hamstrings, good, and the bottom of the hamstrings, four fingers each side, press in, and one, two, extend your leg, opposite hand, cross the leg, and tap, tap, which with the fist, good, inside, yay, beautiful, open your leg, feel the inner thigh, nicely stretched, if you can, straight your knee and flex, good, bend your knee, cross again, press the knee a little bit towards the floor, you feel more stretch right there, and grab the other side toe, and bring your heel to the buns. If you can, you don't have to do it. Good. And back to center, figure four, put your left foot on the right side, through the hole, bring your leg in, your left side glutes should be feeling pretty good. Four, three, two, one. Good. Extend your legs overhead, pointy toes. Good morning. Bend your knee, foot over, face down. Good. And cobra pose, shoulders down. Yeah. And down. Grab the ankles. Squeeze your heels to the buns so your quads are stretching nicely. And lift your knees, chest. Nice, nice ball pose, and down, and left arm straight to the side or bend 90 degrees, and lift opposite leg, my right leg, rest your head, bring your right foot to the floor, and extend my right arm, pushing back. Now the bottom side of your chest, and front shoulder are stretching. Good. Switch side. Cross, rest, reach, and push back. You feel good stretch right there. Ooh, nice. And back, child's pose. Stretch your back. Right arm go under the left arm, shoulders down, the other shoulder pushing down, your upper back nicely stretched open. The other side, go underneath, shoulders push, nice stretch on the upper back. Oh yeah, good. All right, open the knees as wide as you can and bring your toes in. Down to the elbows and exhale and push back your heels, uh, your booties towards the heels, then forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good. Uh, backwards and exhale. Good stretch, feel good. Stretch right there. Then round your back, top of the head towards the floor. And now, bring your knees in 
hands down, fingertips towards the knees, and stretch the forearms. Nice. Four, three, two, one. And close the legs. All right. And reach one side and towards the corner of the ceilings. Make sure you have room here. Open your chest and close your chest and reaching even farther without lifting your hips to the corner of the room. The other side. If I do class, like stretch class, probably I can do, you know, each movement longer and adding more stretches might be a good class too, right? Reach, reach, reach. And open. Close the fingers, drop your tailbones, shoulders away from the face, tuck in your navel, overhead, cross the fingers in the back, press the shoulders back, chest is up, chins up. Good. Hands below your collarbones and right there, just below the collarbones, massage. Oh. Good. All right. And to these front and back of the ears, gentle massage up and down. Good. Whew. And make the cross and press and let go, press and let go, press all over, probably back of the head right here, bottom of the skulls with the thumbs. Good. And massage the back of the neck right there. Good. All right. And ear, center of the ear rims, pull out to the side, looks like a Dumbo ears. Good. And from Dumbo to Gyoza, the blink spot stickers, pushing in forward. Good. All right, and earlobes pull down. Good. And make the middle fingers in the bottom of the base of the ears. Push up and let go. Push up and let go. And gently drain on the side of the neck. Good. So this is a drainage, right? Collarbones. And front side, gentle touch. And one hand down, pull down the skin, and side strokes. Wrinkles go away. This, the neck shows the age. So right here, three fingers inside of the collarbone, and lift your chin. Good. Arm cross, shoulders down, head to the right. Can you feel it? The side of the neck. Right? It's all connected, right? That's why we don't lift the shoulders. Open, cross, shoulders down, head to the left. Elbows up, crunch to the side, and twist. Oh, feel it, feel it. Feel the good stretch, stretch there. Good. The other side. Stretch to the side and twist. Beautiful. Now, deep breath twice. Inhale, open your lungs. One more. Inhale, deep, 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 deep. Thank you so very much. All right. Here we go.